Hey guys, thanks for joining me for Eternal Play Games. My name is Lance, and today I'm teaching you how to play Tricky Druids. This is a new game by Pegasus Spiegel. It is a two to four player game that takes roughly 20 to 40 minutes to play and is a competitive game. So each of the players is going to be competing against the other players until one player meets the end game conditions, and then that player will be the winner. So as always, if you find these videos helpful, if you like what I do, please consider hitting that like button, subscribing to my channel, as it really does make a big difference, helps me to continue to grow and produce these videos. And if you want to stay up to date on all my videos, also consider hitting that bell so you get notifications anytime I release new content. So let's head to the table, and I'll teach you guys how to play. There are two different types of die included in the game. The first one is a variant die that you can include in your games if you want to, to add more difficulty. And this is a numbered die that'll have two sides with a one, two sides with two, and two sides with three. The other set of dice you're always going to use are the set of four picture die, and these are six-sided dice that'll have one of each of the different symbols on each side. Each potion card is going to have the three ingredients that you'll need to complete that potion at the top, and then it's going to have six spaces that you will fill with those ingredients. Each ingredient must be used at least once in the potion in order for it to be successfully completed. When you fill up all six spaces, you're going to discard the tokens and place the card face down in front of you as a completed potion. Then you'll draw a new one. Each player is also going to have a trash pin, and as they receive different ingredients that they cannot use in their potion, they're going to place it in their trash bin. When their trash bin is full and they receive another token that they cannot use placing it in there, then their trash bin has overflown and has contaminated their potion. So at that point, the player is going to discard all their tokens on their trash bin and the current potion that they're working on. They're going to discard that potion and then draw a new one. And then they're also going to flip over their trash bin to the four side, so they'll have four spaces now. Now that is going to continue, so if they fill up that and receive another ingredient. Again, it will contaminate their area, but they will not flip it back over to the three point side. It'll stay on the four spot side for the remainder of the game. There are six different ingredients that players are going to be using throughout the game. The first one we have is the common toad in formaldehyde, then the poisonous fly agarag, tasty sticky honeycombs, purest essence of stars, freshly picked mandrake, and the finest troll hair. For setup, the first thing you can do is go ahead and grab the deck of potion cards, shuffle them up, and then place them out in the middle of the table. Go ahead and also place out the six ingredients. And for this video, I'll be using the Crystal Fortress pod sets. If you want to know more about them, go ahead and check the description below. And then we can also place out the dice. For the base game, you won't be using the numbered die. You can go ahead and return that to the box. Then each player will choose a screen to use for that player. And I'm gonna go ahead and set up for a three player game. So we'll have three screens out. Each player can be dealt a trash bin that they're going to keep behind their screen. And then finally, each player is going to draw the top potion from the deck and then place it behind their screen as well, not revealing it to any other player. Once all the players are ready, then go ahead and select one player as the starting player, and you can do this in any manner you want to. When the starting player is selected, they'll go ahead and grab the four ingredient die, and they're ready to begin the game. Tricky Druids is played over an undefined number of turns. Starting with the first player and moving in a clockwise manner, each player will continue taking turns until the endgame condition is met, which is that one player has brewed the required number of potions. In a two-player game, this is going to be four potions. In a three-player game, it'll be three. And in a four-player game, it'll be two potions. The first player that accomplishes this will be the winner and named the friendliest druid among you. Or not. The first step in a player's turn is that they're going to roll the four ingredients dice. From there, then the player must choose at least one ingredient that was rolled to offer to another player, but they can choose all of them or any number of them from there. So let's go ahead and offer the two mandrakes. And you cannot offer an ingredient that is out of in the supply either. So you have to have the tokens to be able to offer as well. And then we'll offer the finest troll here. From there, then you'll choose one of the players to offer it to. So let's go ahead and say that we offer it to our player up here. At that point, then that player has a choice to make. They can either accept the gifts and then place any that they need in their ingredients, in their potion that they're making, any that they do not need, they will place in their trash bin. Or that player will refuse the gift, in which case then it'll come back to you, and then you will have to place those ingredients in your potion and any ingredients you don't need are in your trash bin. So for example, if our player over there refused this gift, then we would have to, we could place the two mandrakes in our potion as we need those, but we'll have to place the troll hair in our trash bin as we can do not have that as one of our active ingredients for our potion. 
Once we're done with that, then we'll go ahead and pass the ingredients die to the next player in clockwise order to take their turn. When you receive the last of the ingredients that you need to complete your potion, you first must make sure that you have all three ingredients in your potion at least once. And then if you have six ingredients in your potion, you can complete it. So at that point, you can discard all the, po the ingredients on your potion and any ingredients you have in your trash bin back to the supply. And then go ahead and show all the players the potion you completed and then place that face down next to you. Then you can go ahead and grab a new potion and be ready to start on your next potion. The other thing that's going to happen throughout the game is you're going to receive ingredients that you cannot use. In those situations, you're going to add them to your trash bin. And if your trash bin is already completely full and you add another ingredient to it, then it is going to overflow and contaminate the potion you're working on. At that point, you're going to go ahead and clear all the ingredients off of the trash bin and the potion that you're working on. You'll discard that potion back to the bottom of the supply and grab a new potion to work on. All the ingredients will be added back to the supply. And then you're going to flip over your trash bin. And now for the rest of the game, you're going to have four spots on your trash bin. And even when that fills up again and you receive another token that goes on there, you're simply going to clear it and your potion again, but you will not flip this back over to the three space side. And this is going to continue going from player to player with players offering ingredients to other players until one player meets the end conditions. Again, it'll be based on the number of players. So in a two player game, you'll, the first player to complete four potions. In a three player game, it'll be the first player to complete three potions. And in a four player game, it'll be the first player to complete two potions. And at that point, that player will be the winner of the game. And the last thing I wanna cover is including the number die in your games. And this is going to be a variant option that you can choose to add. When you add it, you're simply going to roll it with the rest of the ingredients. And then when you roll it, that will be the number of that, those ingredients you're offering to other players. So in this situation, whatever ingredients we choose to offer, we're gonna be offering three of those for each one. So if we offer three mandrakes and three essence of stars, that's six tokens. So again, you must have the required tokens needed to offer, and then you're offering another player a lot of tokens. So you're gonna have a lot more players potentially busting pretty quickly from that or completing potions. Well, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos and leave me feedback on them. I do really appreciate it and I take into account everything you guys say to make the best possible videos. And if you find these videos helpful, if you like what I do, please consider that like button and subscribe to my channel as it really does make a big difference, helps me to continue to grow and produce these videos. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.